Hey guys, this is a transcend enclosure for SSD and hard drives. This will help us access the storage drive through a SATA 3 to USB connection interface. In the box, we get a drive enclosure, a USB cable, a quick start guide and a warranty card. This works with the storage drives that have a SATA 3 6 Gbps interface drives with a form factor of 2.5 inches and drives that can go up to 9.5 millimeters in height. It does not require any external power source and works just fine with 5 volt USB power on Windows and Mac OS. It weighs about 86 grams and is made of aluminium. On the front, it has the USB 3.0 micro B socket and an LED indicator for power and data transfer activity. The case also features a one touch auto backup button for data backups. In order to use this feature, one will have to download and install the Transcend Elite software. So let's go ahead and install an SSD inside this enclosure now. I recently bought this Samsung 850 EVO SSD which has a capacity of 500 GB. I bought this to replace my internal hard drive in my Lenovo G50 laptop. I shall use this SSD in this enclosure for the time being. I'll be doing a separate unboxing and a review video on this SSD and I will provide the links shortly. So firstly we need to remove all the screws on either side of this enclosure. On the back side, there isn't anything much, but there is some foam pad on the cover to just support the storage drive. On the front side, you will see the SATA 3 to USB 3 interface and all the circuits. So next, let's attach the SATA 3 interface to the SSD and slide this inside the enclosure. Once this is done, let's hook up the USB cable to the laptop and wait for a minute for Windows to discard the new hardware. Now let's go to the control panel and click on system and security. In there, open the administrative tools and click on computer management. Now select disk management in this window. Now this window will display the information of each and every disk on your system. Scroll down to see the disk that matches the details of your drive. Right click on the black area of the drive and click on new simple volume. Now once this is done, the new drive will appear in my computer window and it should be ready for use. Now that's all I have in this video and I hope this video was useful to you. Please give it a like if it helped you and also please subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Thanks for watching and have a good day.